Good morning. Welcome to day 48 of the Index Card Day Challenge. This is day 47 and our stack. This is the newest addition to the paper right here, in case you all were wondering. Okay, so let me show you the crazy things that inspired me this morning when I walked into my room. I went through my scrap boxes. This is what I kept out. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to make with it, but <laughs> these papers inspired me. I'll tell you what really inspires me the most though on this table is this paper right here. I don't even remember how I did this. I don't remember if it's watercolor. I don't remember if it's inks. Of course, if it's watercolor, it'll run a little bit. Let's see. It's not really running. I don't know what I did. I would like to recreate this. Let's try. Worst the worst that could happen, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get out watercolors because I think that's what I wanna play with today. And I won't get the same exact look, but we'll, we'll try to get something that we like with the colors. How about that? Let's see if the watercolors even have the colors in it that I would like to use. I've got some browns. There's no black in here. Gray, there's some yellows and greens. Goldish color. This is probably inks, that's my guess. I'm gonna get a paintbrush. This is a big one, it's a number 20, and I've got fresh water, and I'm just gonna use watercolor. If this is ink, that's okay. We'll just wing it. We don't want exact. We don't wanna recreate exactly what we did, although I'd love to know how I did this. We just wanna get something we like. Okay, so I'm gonna get a paper to put down, to put my card on, and I think I'll work this direction, and we'll just get started. All right, I'm gonna wet my paintbrush a lot and put some water on here, and this is not watercolor paper. It's gonna react different than watercolor paper probably soak into this. I'm not going to gesso it. I'm going to leave it just like this and see what happens. I'm just going to start putting down color. I'm going to dry this real quick and keep going. Okay, I had to take a break. I went to lunch real quick and I got back and I see how this is drying and I think it could be turned into something really pretty, but it's not giving me what I was looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my inks. The colors just don't compare. So I have another card and it's marked with my 48 on there. I think I'm gonna go to a smaller brush. This is still a round brush, 4,000 round. I'm just gonna start with my yellow ochre and then start adding the greens in. I'm going to dry in between. Okay, I've gone as far with this as I'm willing to go with all the splatters and stuff. It's nothing like this. I'm liking this just fine though, so I'm gonna keep going. And I'm gonna take a smaller brush and just take my brown and make a couple stems from flowers that I see. This is a sepia pencil from Jerry's Artorama. It's just like this big black one, except it's sepia. So I'm gonna use that to bring in the flowers. I'm gonna take a white Posca pen and go around the sepia. That's cute, I like that. I don't want to be perfect, thus the positioning of my hand. Maybe I will add a little word down here. 
we go. That's perfect. Let's look at it on a white paper. Oh, and I have something even better. I haven't done this in a while. Hold on. How about that? It's amazing what a difference a little frame can make. I think I'm going to frame this when this project's over. All right. Thanks for being here. Hope you have a great whatever it is. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Where's my card? How do you lose a card in five seconds? There it is.